Okay, guys, we got a 2016 Nissan Frontier Pro X 4x4, whatever it's called. And I got called out because it got an airbag light, and they said they replaced the front crash zone sensor, and it still didn't work. Well, I looked up this dash 88. 88 means open circuit. So I'm going to bring up a diagram, and we're going to go after this circuit right here. Uh, they all you can see that they were doing some other stuff because we got these history faults So they were messing with stuff. So we're gonna find out where this crash zone sensor lives and we're gonna go test the circuit Okay guys, so it says the crash zone sensor is behind the center of the front bumper So we're gonna go look at that. We'll hook our scope up and we'll look see what our signal looks like So guys, I was trying to go after the front airbag sensor. And it wasn't working. So they said to go after the door So I got my ETC 3000 connected and I have it going into the door wire right there. And then I'm reading it over here with the scope. And you can see the signal looks pretty good. Now if we move it to the other side. Because we've got an open circuit code. Let me set the phone down real quick. So if we flip these around. You don't see a signal there. We'll flip it at the door. Okay guys, so when I move over to the other wire, the black wire, we got nothing. We got nothing all the way up here. See, no signal. So that wire's open. So guys, I'm back with the Nissan. They had me come back to look at this. This is the one that we had. No, an open going to the door. I think one open or something like that. And we had... The front, both of them are open. And I'm wondering, just maybe, if they mix these connectors up. Because we got black and white up here and gray. And I think black and white went to the front. And then there was a red, looks like a red, uh, let's see if you guys can see that. Red, black, and green, I think went to the door. Let's see. Actually, we got the door right here. Uh, it looks like orange. Um, wait, I just wonder if they're mixed up. And that's the whole issue. I'm going to unplug it and see if the connectors are the same. Now I'm going to bring up a diagram. Okay, guys. So, I was looking at this connector right here. Okay, so we got the green, the red, and the black on that side, okay? This side is white, black, and gray. So this connector up here is... Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's white, black, and gray. So I'm pretty sure they mix the connectors up. Uh, this is what makes it so hard when they mix connectors up like this. Man, I'm 99.999%. I really want to say 100, but I don't want to jinx myself. percent sure that that's the issue. So guys, if you look, it says crash zone sensor, white and black, behind front of car. And if you look here, it says left front satellite door sensor red and green so yeah I think that was our issue because now we got red and green going up there to the door and this should be going to the front oh, crazy so I'm gonna get this back together and then we'll test it so guys now look got everything back together codes no codes Let's cycle the key Codes. No codes. Can you believe that? They mixed the connectors up. This is ridiculous. So I'm going to finish putting everything back together. That's scary because I was adding power and putting signals through there and modules could have went off. And I usually don't like to do that, but crazy. So guys, I'm doing a full system scan, but I don't know if I include this in the video, but I had disconnected the airbag module uh, down here underneath the cup holder before and I disconnected the sensor in the front and I had put a signal through using that uh, power probe ETC 3000 and I wasn't getting a signal I tried using my power probe I was sending power through with a test light on the end because I thought the circuit was open trying to uh, trying to like see if there's anything going through there even like with my with my scope hooked up and this could have got ugly 
like this is like probably like the fifth or sixth vehicle that I came out to here that had the connectors at the wrong spot and man you put power through something you blow an airbag hey guys we got a Nissan flashing uh, airbag light this is how it flashes when you turn the key on well when you start it up yeah, or turn the key on after seven seconds it just starts flashing and I looked it up in information it says that there's an issue but there's no it doesn't look like it's programmed I don't know how to know if it's programmed but there's no fault codes I tried multiple tools I fixed the issues that it had because I had crash sensor codes because they were hooked up wrong but I think it's not programmed let me know what you guys think so guys we're back out with the Nissan and if you look this turns on for seven seconds and it turns on again twice for like a second or two then it counts I think five times you can see it flash in there so this is like a hidden code Nissan has you'll see it come up again on for like two seconds off on for two seconds off we got one two three four five six seven so it's like a hidden code and it'll keep repeating so I'm gonna look up and repair information and see if we can find this code. This is just getting like ridiculous because when you scan it, there's no codes. So guys, I'll wait for this to repeat. I figured, I think I figured out some direction here. So, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. Three seconds, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven, so I came on here. This shows you this pattern right here. Look at that. Crash zone sensor. And when you look, it says primary flashes two. So we have our two primary flashes. And then flash like three seconds each. So when we scroll down to five, it says front door satellite sensor. So that would be the front right. I've been dealing with the front left this whole time. So we're going to go underneath the dash and we're going to look, see if it's possible that they might have flipped some connectors or maybe something ain't plugged in. And we'll go through that. This is insane. Like, why doesn't it set a code for this? Let's see if I can get my scan module on. Let's see Nissan. I'll wait for it to load up but I'll let this load up we'll do a full system scan again and we'll show that there's no codes so I'm gonna get that door open a while while this is loading up because it takes a while on this car oh guys look now it says a fault it says right hand door disconnected I couldn't get this last time I think I might have filmed that I tried like five different scan tools would not show me any codes but now it says right hand door disconnect, no communication. So I pulled the panel off down here. I'm gonna bring up a wiring diagram and we'll see, uh, see if we can see if the wires are mixed up or something. There's one up top, just like the other side and one over at the door. Okay guys, so it says the right front door sensor is purple and light green. So I'm gonna go make sure we got purple and light green wires going in the purple and light green connector. So guys, looking at this, so we have purple and light green, probably can't see too well, but we have purple and light green going into here. And we have purple and light green coming out. And then we also have purple and light green up top there. I'm trying to see if the wires are in a different order. Doesn't, are they in a different? I'm gonna have to disconnect these two plugs, but I think they might have switched them because there's a lot of extra slack right here. So I'm gonna unplug them and I'm gonna take a look at them. Okay, we're back with the Frontier. I had to have my resistor on here for about a half an hour trying to power down the modules safely. So I'm gonna connect this back up and we're gonna see if we have our airbag codes. So guys, we still have the same code on the dash where it keeps flashing the seven and I didn't get to scan it again to make sure let's see analog brakes oh sorry I didn't want analog brakes I wanted eight 
airbag. But anyway, I'm going to go and scan the car again, but I'm going to take this door panel off a while. I want to make sure that the sensor is actually plugged in. Maybe we'll scope the signal. See if they forgot to plug it in or something. So guys, I back probed the sensor over here on the driver's door. And I get this square wave right here, which I'm going to save. And I think this is a known bit. I'll show you what a known good looks like on the other side. So guys, I'm on the driver's side. And this is, I'm probing right down there. I tried both the sensors, get the same waveform. So this is what I get. I get this. And if I AC couple it, and I lower my voltage, and I pick my time up a lot faster. So if we go down to like, there you go, one volt, uh, five milliseconds, that's what I'm getting. I can go lower, we can go down to one millisecond. And then that's what I'm getting. It looks like communication. So that side's open circuit. If I unplug this, I get the same signal as the other side. So I think that might be like open circuit in there or something. Or maybe the wire's open going to the center console. I'm going to quick do a couple of visual checks real quick and then we'll go from there. So look at this. I was able to make the other code set for the other doors. So I'm going to see, I'm going to quick check to see if our wire's messed up going to that door or something. I'll be right back. So guys, I back probe the connector here. And now look. We have no codes. So let's see. if we get a code back. So it's on three times. Four times. Five times. So it's just a constant flashing now. So I wonder if it has to be relearned because I looked at the scope pattern and our pattern look kind of the same as before as the other ones like we don't have that oh here it was we just have like it's communicating so I'm gonna see if I can get this to do a so guys I just found a TSB for this I was reading on IETN something about a check engine or the airbag light flashing Went in IETN and it said this, and then uh, it said about TSB. So I look up TSB, there's a TSB. If it flashes on for two seconds, turns off for two seconds, turns on for two seconds, it's in diagnostic mode and you gotta take it out of diagnostic mode. So now I'm gonna do the procedure. I'll show you the procedure then to get it out. Like you gotta turn the key on for so many seconds, turn it off, and you gotta use a stopwatch. So do not use the light as an indicator. So we're gonna try that real quick and I'll be right back. Guys, I think I got it. It took me like 10 tries. I got it dead on, I think, the last time. So let's turn this, start this up, see if we have any codes. Oh man, guys, this is amazing. You have no idea the struggle. The struggle. This is like when everything possible could go wrong and you finally straighten the car out. Kinda deal so i'm gonna plug the scan tool back in we're just gonna do one more check on here and we are gonna see if this works you don't know the struggle guys to like find information on this like you get information but who who would have thought in the tsb oh there's a reset procedure for getting out of diagnostic mode it's not mentioned anywhere that i could find in service information I was asking like everybody for help.
Let's do a full system scan real quick. Make sure that we don't have anything. I should have charged by the hour on this one. It's just kept fighting. And everybody I saw online was like, oh, I hate work on Nissan airbags. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Look at that. We just have one fault code. This is awesome. My brain hurts. Taking a hybrid class, trying to diagnose this mobily. Oh man, guys, this is awesome. And I also found out my laundry was running out of room, so I cleared out all the other stuff I didn't need, like Brazilian cars and stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Shut this off. Just try turning it on. Oh man, look at that, guys. This is awesome. So I hope you guys really like this. I hope everybody subscribes and likes. It'd be awesome, because this took forever to film. I, I don't know if this is three parts or two parts or what I did. But see you guys later.